What's up guys, Sean here again with Briar Home Buyers, and today we're gonna go over negotiation tips when you're trying to sell your house. So, first thing is to have your inspection before you list your house. Uh, if you spend that extra $400, you can go ahead and start fixing all the items that are major on your inspection list, and that way when people come in and make offers on your house and they have their own inspections, they're not able to come to you and try to negotiate down for repair costs. It cuts out the negotiations. So if you have to spend $400 on the inspection and maybe $2,000 to repair things, uh, you're going to be able to cut out the $5,000 negotiation that you will have lost in the long run. So be a little more long-term minded versus short-term. Go ahead, spend that money and fix those items so nobody can beat you down later. Uh, the second one is to throw in extras. If somebody's touring your property uh, and you have it staged or you just have really nice furniture and they seem that they're on the fence but they really are interested in buying your house, maybe throw in some extra furniture like the living room set or the bedroom set, whatever they like the most, consider throwing that in. Uh, it could be a kayak or the lawnmower or something else that maybe you really don't like anymore, you don't want, but they want it to go to come with their new house so they don't have to go out and buy those things themselves. Uh, it can be a tipping point for some people, so just get creative and consider those options. Don't be emotional when you are accepting offers. Go ahead and before you list your house and before you uh, get into the, I guess, whole process of accepting offers and whatnot and being on the market for several months, Go ahead and get a top number. Actually, you don't need a top number. Go ahead and get a lowest number that you would accept and don't go below that. If it's not the right time to sell your house, just be prepared that's not the right time to sell it. So if you list it for $200,000 and you won't go below 180 and you're only getting offers for 165 or nobody's offering in the range that you want, just don't sell it. Uh, you need to have multiple exit strategies and what I mean by that is either you can hold on to it and keep it as a rental, or you can fix it up and flip it if it's in the stress, or whatever else, Airbnb maybe. So have multiple exit strategies, hold on to it for a little bit longer, and maybe when the market goes up and gets a little hotter, uh, you can sell it for a higher price then and get the price that you're really looking for. So if you are getting offers that are within your range and you have multiple offers, uh, or just like one or two or three, you want to facilitate uh, a bidding war. So if you're starting to get an offer in, just go ahead and tell that buying agent and that buyer that you are you will uh, accept offers until Friday at 5 p.m. And at that point, you will uh, look over all of the offers and choose which one seems best for you. Uh, that may be highest price, best terms, whatever that is go ahead and give them the illusion of a bidding war. Uh, that'll help you out, that'll help increase the urgency for that buyer, and they're most likely to give you their most best offer at that time, their highest and best offer. So maybe you wanna learn more about the buyer as well. Uh, if they have a lot of kids that wanna play and you have a local park that has a big playground, uh, Talk about the playground a lot, and talk about how you see a lot of kids over there all the time. If you meet the sell or you meet the buyer, uh, or maybe talk about the big living room and the big uh, kitchen that you have for holidays if they like to host parties, uh, stuff like that. Be a little bit more aware of who your buyer is and talk that stuff up. That way, uh, they're focused on those attributes of your property, and you're more likely to get the sale and get a higher price because they also are focused on what they like the most about the property. Uh, it creates urgency for them and it helps you out as a seller. So to recap, the five things are do your inspection first and then list later. Throw in extras uh, to a seller who's, or to a buyer who's on the fence. Don't be emotional about your numbers. Have exit strategies. And facilitate a bidding war. Uh, set a deadline to all people who submit offers or are considering submitting offers. And learn more about your buyer and focus on what their wants and their needs are to help get you a higher price. That's all for today. 
Uh, if you want to learn more about what we do at Briar Home Buyers, or if we can help you and tell you what your options are, fill out a form on the website or give us a call and we'll happily get with you and talk to you about it. Thanks guys.